What makes us wake up in the morning? What makes you get out of bed and say, ah, oh, I get to do this again? It's NPS site day. Hey, gather around, our dot report is here. Ooh, check out our numbers. I just want to ask, is everyone living for the numbers? Uh, don't mistake me, I like reports. I like to know what others think. I do want to know where I stand. But my pride doesn't come from the dot. Achieving numbers helps validate your success or gives you a sense of where improvements could be made. It's an indication of where you are on the journey. Don't stop believing. But are you happy about your achievement just because it says so on a piece of paper? Hold on to that feeling. Love your if you think about it, and this is important, the dot is a reflection of our behaviors, and it's our behaviors that get us the results. So where should we put the emphasis? Are you applauding success based on the dot, or on the behaviors that got the dot to move? Here's a tip. Share more stories. Stories emphasize the actions and conversation that help create an amazing experience. That is what we want to duplicate. That is what makes it fun. And that is what gives us a great sense of pride. So tell stories as often as you can. They don't have to be monumental. Monumental! But they do have to be specific about the what and the how. What was said and how did the customer react? What was the approach? What words triggered offering that particular solution? You see, stories impact everyone's attitude. They can be energizing. They encourage me to act the same way. They, they can, can be energizing. 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 So create that sharing atmosphere with your team because our behaviors with each other reflect on our behaviors with our customers. So what are we living for? Living for the dot? No. Living for the people. I can wake up for that. And Teresa in Vancouver, thanks for sharing the idea about your people owning the energizing team. Tutus. Awesome.